Hey, it's Colette Dong from The Nest, and today I'm gonna to show you the right way to do a side bend. So let's start with the wrong way. The first thing I see is an overarch through the spine. So when you're getting ready, your tailbone is pinched too far back, and you have too extreme of an arch, yeah? So that when you go to the side, you're really just straining more in your spine as opposed to activating your side body and side obliques. The next wrong thing I see is too far of a curve forward. So we're caving in our shoulders, we're putting too much pressure in the top of the neck, and we're moving sideways this way. Looks kind of like an anteater. We don't want that side to side. It's gonna strain the head, neck, and shoulders as well as hurt the back and spine. And then the last thing I see is not grounding down through your opposite side enough. So when people do the side bend, they'll take their leg with them Ooh, which puts the pressure and the weight into your standing leg and takes it out of the side body, which is where we want the activation to happen. Now I'm gonna show you the right way to do a side bend. So I want you to squeeze your ribs towards the back of your body, nice neutral pelvis, almost like you're squeezing between two brick walls or you're a piece of toast in a toaster, yeah? You're gonna slice down to the side and come all the way up. Right, splitting the difference between being overarched and caving too far forward. You slice down directly side and come all the way up. And then as you can see, you're grounded down through that opposite side hip so that you really get that up and over sensation like a rainbow, pretending to crush a walnut between your ribs and the top of your hips. Beautiful work. And now you know the right way to do a side bend. Thank you so much for joining me on Well and Goods the Right Way. Like and subscribe for more similar content.